Oh baby, today on the channel we got another Deluxe G.I. Joe Classified figure with Scrap Iron and Drone. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Welcome back to the channel for another G.I. Joe Classified Series unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got the latest and greatest. We got Scrap Iron and Drone. A little deluxe pack here. But remember, for all your G.I. Joe needs like this one, make sure you're hitting up DJC Collectibles. Use discount code 8 off DJC to save 8% off your entire order. And that's exactly what I did as I picked this set up. And all the other Joes we're unboxing here on the channel from DJC Collectibles. So check them out. Tell them Kyle sent you. But Scrap Iron and Drones, a deluxe pack. We've had a few of these deluxe packs over the last couple of years. Snake Eyes and Timber being probably the most popular ones so far. I don't know. It's all subjective, of course. But Scrap Iron and Drone is an interesting one. Kind of a mini vehicle going on right here. And Scrap Iron, to me, was always an interesting character in the G.I. Joe Cobra landscape. As Scrap Iron wasn't a Destro, he wasn't a Major Blood, he wasn't a Cobra Commander, a Baroness. He was somewhere in there. Was he a C-level kind of villain, if you want to call Cobra villains? I, gu I guess you would. Uh, at kind of a C-level. He was always kind of like a Barry Horowitz type guy, if you know your wrestling fandom. A guy you knew his name, but he didn't do a whole lot all the time. He was in some episodes, he was in the backgrounds, but he wasn't a tippy-top guy. He was just kind of a head of... a nameless viper or cobra officer at least for me maybe you're different out there but that's always kind of how i viewed him but he's getting a heck of a lot of personality in this figure with the removable helmet all that kind of stuff that he didn't have back in the day so a lot of excitement about this one but of course we're going to do this review like we do all the reviews on the channel we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And I'm interested to see what they get for deluxe packages in the future. you got to think we'll have a Joe one of these. And uh, now I can't remember what those things were called. But there was three different kind of like drone vehicles from the Joes. I think they maybe even came in a three-pack. I had them as a kid. But a little missile launcher, things like that. We might get one of those and maybe one of the Joes to go along with it. Maybe we'll get like a Zap or somebody like that. One of those deeper cut characters from the original line. I don't know, but this is a bit of a heavy pack compared to some of the other ones here. But it is the classified box style, but a little bit bigger, as you can see. G.I. Joe across there. Beautiful artwork on the front, or I guess uh, action figure photography, whatever you want to call it. I guess that is art at the end of the day. This is definitely artwork. But very cool packaging style. We've said it before in some of these recent reviews. Wish they would have had this packaging design all along when they went from plastic away from plastic. But love this, and it does look like he is on the USS Flag, the old G.I. Joe aircraft carrier there. Could that be an Easter egg? Could he be getting the flag soon? Oh, man. Part of me would love it. Part of me would hate it. And I think a lot of us would say, how are we going to afford that? Where the heck are we going to put that? But I don't know. Maybe one of these days they can figure something out. Maybe an Extreme Sets or something like that. That would be the way to do it, I think. But definitely looking cool on there. There's all the accessories up here, all the effect pieces, everything else. Pretty crazy there. Number 74 on the side, old scrap iron, a little glamour shot. Get your phone out, hit up the old QR code if you want to find out more about scrap iron. And then on the back, we get all the bells and whistles down here, all the jibber jabber. And then we get kind of the breakout of what the heck's going on back here. It says scrap iron and anti-armor drone. So very interesting here. A lot going on. Let's dive in. Let's get them out of the package. Let's see what all the fuss is about. And there's always fuss about G.I. Joe Classifieds. Uh, there's always fuss at the end of the day. Nothing else in the box. We're going to give it the old see you later. Goodbye. We're going to unbox this big heavy box right here. This must be all the accessories, right? Got all be in there. Oh, there it is. See you later. Goodbye. Spider-Man style. Bam. See you later off the screen. All right, and then we get a little cardboard prison for scrap iron. You got his drone pieces, all that kind of stuff going on. Let's get the scissors out. Let's cut them out. See what's going on here. I'm very excited about this one. Feels like a vehicle in a lot of ways, this drone. I guess you can't ride in it. So I guess if you can't ride in it, is it a vehicle? I guess not. It's just a, a fancy accessory. But still, a very cool thing is, you know, the Joes, as much as we love the figures, Joes was just about almost as much about the vehicles and the Cobra vehicles, the G.I. Joe vehicles, things like that. That was a big part of the whole Celebration of the Joes there. A little background action. See you later. See you later up high. Twist tie. Goodbye. All right. 
And then I'm gonna see, there's no instructions with this, which is interesting, but I do assume you just pop this bad boy in here. There it is, just got a little ball joint on it. Very interesting here, I like this. So you got the tank treads down here, they are not movable. The treads on here are not removable. Uh, but you do get some side to side a little bit, a little bit of up and down. So it can kind of go up and down if you're, you know, playing in your backyard on some hills, things like that. You got all black attack. You got the gray for the treads looking nice there. And then you get the top piece here. It's got a little antenna on the top. It does see Pizio Electric. And then it's got an SN number with Cobra at the end, a little M logo. Makes it feel like it was bought somewhere or something. And it does say ant tank so anti-tank you're gonna put this up against the mauler put it up against the mobat maybe that's the plan there you got the spot for the missiles in here as well and got a little bit of kind of like a lens and stuff so scrap irons off to the side you know covered up and he's looking at his own uh, little drone camera thing he's directing traffic on this thing uh very nice a, a little bit lightweight but not as lightweight as it would look so it's got a little bit of heft to it i will say you got some lights on the back as well just looking really nice so this is a very nice little piece now you're gonna put it with scrap iron you're gonna put this somewhere else I guess choose your own display adventure with this. But I do like what I see there. I am here for that. Now we got baggies upon baggies. We're going to get everything out right here. See what's going on. See what all the fuss is about. And there's always fuss. Like I said, I'm always worried I'm going to lose a weapon or something in there. But nothing going on there. Bam. See you later. Goodbye. And then we get another round right here. Oh, my gosh. All these effect pieces. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Bam, see you later, goodbye. All right, let's break it all down here. Now we got effect pieces all over the place. So we get these two kind of, gosh, I don't know, explosion points. I don't know what you would call them, but you got some nice spikes up there from flames. You got kind of the smoke down here. You got the wraparound flames, very detailed, very ornate. They can kind of stand over to the side. You can kind of put them however you really want to put them in your collection. But nice effect pieces here. And these are pretty cool because you can use these on the battlefield. They don't have to necessarily be with this. You can use them separately. Heck, you can do the Marvel Legends. You can do anything you want with these effect pieces. So I am here for that for sure. Looking good. Then we get two big old smoke effect pieces. Now let's see if I can figure this out a little bit here. Very interesting. I'm trying to figure out. Would this go in here? There we go. Okay. All right. So you can put this in here so it does get a little trail action. So this plugs out. This is the missile. We get two of these missiles, the same deal here. They do say laser guided on the side of them in a little paint, very old school G.I. Joe style. But two big old red missiles, and then you get the two effect pieces, and they can plug right in there if you want that. It's like they're going up through there, and there's the rocket shooting them off. You have all that. Or you can stick them in here, I'd imagine. Yep, there you go. So you can stick it right there. It looks like they're taking off blast effect. That is pretty cool, actually. I really do like that. I wonder if these go in without that. And they do. So you can really choose your own missile adventure here. You can put both missiles in just kind of sitting there. Or you can plug it in, pop that in there, pop this in here, and it looks like they're taking off as well. So very, very cool. Almost makes me want to get two of these to display them differently. Maybe play a little of that long game, see if there's a clearance down the line. Maybe pull that trigger on that. But very cool. I love the playability here. I love the choose your own adventure ability of this one here. So very, very cool. The two different rockets shooting out of there. I think that is really awesome. Once again, you get two more effect pieces here, a little bit more closer to the ground effect pieces, but very cool. You can kind of stick these behind. It's like, that's kind of the jets going out, you know, shooting all the exhaust out of the back. And I guess you could put these in the landing zone wherever you need to. But a lot of cool effect pieces to play around with and to build out scenes and use with other toy lines if you really want to. So very, very cool. Like what I see right there. Now we get down to Scrap Iron and his specific accessories here. Now Scrap Iron comes with his own Nintendo Switch. Looking really good here when he wants to play. Or is this a Game Gear? Old school Game Gear? Could that be what it is? Maybe a Game Boy. Who knows? But... Like I was saying, he's back behind the hill. He's directing traffic with this thing. Got the antennas up. Got a little screen action. And it kind of does look like an old school Game Gear. Old Sega Game Gear back in the day. Very, very cool. So he can be holding on to that if you want him to. He only has one weapon on here, which I feel like him just having a handgun. I feel like every Joe and Cobra figure should have a handgun of some sort. He does come with one all in black here. And I believe this is a new handgun pistol that we haven't seen before. So I do like this, but I feel like he should also have a longer rifle or something like that. Just something going on because this is pretty little. But yes, of course, he does have this. But I feel like he needs a little bit more. Maybe that's just me. Who knows? Of course, you can go to your Valiverse weapons. If you've collected Valiverse, there's tons of weapons you could use out of that. 
You could use other Joe weapons if you really needed to as well. So it's not the end of the world. We'd have just like to see one more packing weapon. I don't think that's asking for too much. But I like that it at least got a pistol there. Now we get down to the head and let's dive into the figure. And we'll talk about the helmet here first. Of course, Scrap Iron, like I said, in the G.I. Joe cartoon. Back in the day, of course, that's my heyday. When I think of G.I. Joe, it's the cartoon. I know some people say it's the comic book. Some of you lucky ones, it's a blend between the two. I didn't read a whole lot of G.I. Joe comics when I was a kid, just wasn't allowed to get them, so just I didn't get them. I got my wrestling magazines and stuff like that, and I watched my Joes on the cartoon, and I'd rather spend money, or my parents' money, on the toys than the comic books. That's just how it was for me. No reading for young Kyle, that's all about playing. Uh, but anyway, Scrap Iron, to me, always had a helmet on, so it was like, I never knew him without the helmet, and I think that's how most people were. So this head sculpt over here... Quite something different. It's kind of reimagining the character in a lot of ways. But the head sculpt, or I should say the helmet sculpt here, very good. You got the visor put in there. I guess that is a Cobra logo, or it almost looks like one. Maybe not. Right above the visor, but it's all black throughout that. Of course, just slides over his head, fits on there like any other helmet we've seen. I like that he's removable, though. Gives him a little extra personality. Plus, if you want to, you can pop this head off. You can use it for somebody else if you really wanted to. His body almost looks like a little bit of a Cobra Viper, too. Kind of that color scheme and stuff. Wouldn't mind pairing him up with Cobra Vipers. Even though they always felt kind of different and generational. To me, he was always around the Cobra Troopers, Cobra Officers. Not so much the Vipers. But you could make your own adventure and your own shelf and your display if you want to. But digging into this head here is pretty darn cool. He's got one whole side of his face burnt off or his head i guess i should say all burnt off so this is a guy playing with explosives he's seen a few things and he's seen a few things go wrong in his face obviously scars over his eyes it looks like he is missing one eye uh deep scar through there deep scar through both of the eyes scars on the side of the head there of course he's got a mohawk probably because hair won't grow on the sides that got burnt off but he's got a little mohawk there in a brown color Definitely a guy that looks very angry. Definitely looks like some villain from like an Arnold or Sylvester Stallone 80s action adventure movie. He looks like some kind of deep threat villain bad guy or something is what he looks like. But definitely a lot of personality here. I think if you don't know Cobra and G.I. Joe, you see this guy and you say, is this a good guy or a bad guy? I think all day long everybody's saying, oh, that's a bad dude. That's one bad dude right there. So it really does look good, really does fit. And I'm torn a little bit because part of me wants to display him with this, but this is such a cool head sculpt with all the burns and everything else. You kind of want to show that off as well. So the tale of two scrap irons, I guess, at the end of the day, that goes back to me saying maybe I need two of these, one with the helmet on, one with the helmet off, one with the rockets out, one with the rockets in. It's an expensive hobby, folks. Nobody ever said it wasn't. But let's dive into the articulation on old scrap iron here. Arms go all the way around. Got a little of that butterfly shoulder. Not deep butterfly, but you got a little bit in there. You got the uh, bicep cut, of course. Double jointed, pinless elbows, playing all the hits right here at the channel. And you got the hands back and forth, side to side. Got a little uh, weapons wrapped there around his wrist, looking really nice. Uh, then we do get the waist articulation. I'm sure he might have an ab crunch, but he's got that vest over it, so you can't really dive in. The vest is not going to be removable there, so you can't dive in there. He does got a hole in the back there. If you want to put a backpack or something on him, you can do that. Big old scrap iron splits. Who knew, who knew he was a gymnast in a former life? I sure did not. Then, of course, you got the drop-down hips going on there. You got the thigh cut. Always like how they hide him behind these. Very, very cool idea. Double jointed, pinless knees, very tight knees on him. He does got some knee pads going on. If you're down in the dirt, you want to protect those knees. Uh, then you get a boot cut and then ankles back, forth, side to side. Great articulation on this guy here. Dark blue jumpsuit throughout. And then you got the nice vest over the top. Blue shirt and then a red shirt underneath that. Man, he's got to get hot in these things. He's got a lot of stuff going on. Of course, we talked about he does got the holster on the side. Got a belt going on and everything hanging off of there. A little bit different reds in the vest kind of to break it up. You got a little maroon and a straight up red. A little sculpted in pocket there. And you got two sculpted in grenades just in case things get really hairy. I'm sure Scrap Iron, he's one of those guys that pull the pin and just sit there with the grenade and take everybody out with him if he has to as a last resort. I think he's the type of guy that would do something like that. But a very cool figure, no doubt about it here. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. And what do you know, he fits on a stand there. Make sure you do get the Mattel stands, as I always do say. But definitely stand in really good. Definitely stands just fine on his own. And I guess I should grab one of the all-time greats. 
actually, what am I saying? Not one of the all-time great in the G.I. Joe world, as we know. We got old Flint there. Him and Flint ready to square off, go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, show each other their scars. Of course, this one, Flint, has a little scar on his face there. But definitely a cool-looking one is a scrap iron figure. Uh, definitely one I wasn't thinking of when I when you put a list together of what top 10 Cobra characters did I want. I gotta be honest, Scrap Iron wasn't in that list, but it is cool they're getting all these characters here. And like I said, he's a bit of a deep cut guy, really, at the end of the day. He's not your Serpentors, your Dr. Mindbenders. He's not your Nemesis Enforcers. Get me the Nemesis Enforcer. He's kind of that C-level villain there. We knew his name. We just knew he was a, a touch above the Vipers and the Officers and things like that. At least that's how I viewed him when I was a kid. But I really do like this pack. For those that want vehicles and some of that stuff, you get the most of both worlds here. A very cool idea. Two in one in a lot of ways. Just a slam dunk of a pack here. A lot of cool stuff going on. And once again, I'm here for it. Maybe I'm biased. I love my joke and I love this scrap iron figure but what say you guys and gals out there in YouTube land you picking up scrap iron you playing the long game you on the fence let me know in the comments down below of course you've also made it this far don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel hit the old notification bells we're unboxing everything GI Joe here on this very YouTube channel and we're going to have even more for it over on Patreon. You'll get early access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, you name it. And you can support this very YouTube channel as being a Patreon member. And you can also support the channel at ProSNTs.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the mighty Scrap Iron and his drone, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.